Otter has a very, very rare condition. Hi, buddy. And he wears a helmet. You see any squirrel? I'm Caroline, and this is Otter's story for GeoBeats. Oh, give me kisses. I started Baby Kitten Rescue about a year ago. Mommy coach. We focus on neonatal, mm. critical care, and special needs kitten rescue. It's a big purr, baby. Honor, what are you doing? We have 26 people who foster for the rescue, including me. Oh my God. Someone reached out to us on Instagram when they found Bunny and Otter all alone outside. They waited for mom to come back and she never did. They were about two weeks old when they were found, so still needed to nurse. The person who found them was trying to bottle feed them, but then realized that they had physical abnormalities. So that's when they reached out to us. What? When they arrived, they were pretty sick. They had upper respiratory infections and horrible stomach issues and fleas. Excuse me, sir. They um, got better with the right meds and treatment, but Otter has a hole in his skull. And then out of that hole comes out a part of his brain. Otter, you really do don't have to stand like that. He's at really high risk for both infection and injury to his brain if he should hit his head or something. We put out a call on our social media and we had a follower reach out and say he would make him a helmet. Is it so windy? We've had many different kind of models and finally found one that worked. What are you doing? <laughs> He's been wearing that helmet pretty much nonstop. I love you. He doesn't try to scratch it off or pull it off. Arthur. Just relax him. He's really good about when we have to change it and clean his head. He's not in any pain or discomfort. He does not have any trouble with balance. He does not have seizures, which is incredible and kind of a miracle considering his condition. He's the happiest little guy. You want the ear scratches? He's super sweet and loving and playful. Oh, I feel so good under the helmet. Oh. He's just a normal kitten who wears a helmet. <laughs> squirrel? Bunny and Otter love each other. They're definitely like brother and sister, annoy each other, and fight with each other. <laughs> There's not that many times when they're not together. You see that squirrel? And at first I was concerned about Bunny more just because she was missing the most of her front arms, but it's been amazing to watch her adapt to her disability. Nothing holds her back. Oh! <laughs> You're just a nap. Oh, so good. These kittens deserve to have a happy, full, loved life just as much as any other kitten. People sometimes are like, that's so sad. I'm like, it's not sad. Did you wake up? <laughs> they have such a love for life. They are so playful and so happy all the time. <laughs> Attack! The helmet is not a permanent solution and it's not a perfect solution. He needs surgery to fix that congenital defect. So in a week and a half, he's going to be having this surgery done by a, an amazing neurosurgeon in LA. And they're going to try to put the part of his brain that is outside of his skull back in. And then they will be covering that hole with titanium mesh. Did he get stuck? <laughs> After the surgery, he won't need a helmet anymore. He'll just be like a little Iron Man with his titanium skull. I usually cry when they get adopted. It's that bittersweet moment. They get to live a long life full of love and I can help more kittens find the same. Thank you.